Now, I'm not a particularly boisterous person, but yet I can do these videos, I can come out at you and talk and be all assertive and all of this, but that took some work, right? This isn't natural to my personality unless, like, you know, you put some booze in me or something or you get me ranting with friends. This video thing took some work. Now, this got me to thinking. I had a lesson that I learned in that process. Well, I didn't learn it the first time, but it came to me anew while I was making this video, and I was reminded of how it works, and I wanted to share it with you all, which is the idea of fake it till you make it. <laughs> what that means is that you can approach a task that you don't feel confident at or comfortable with, or you don't think you can express the appropriate emotions or context or whatever to it, and rather than struggling with this, just simply Think about what other people who are good at it do. Think about, like, if you're trying to act and you can't evoke the emotion yourself, watch other people do it. And then learn the motions they go through. Watch it. Because as you mimic it, you will in time unleash it yourself. You will synchronize with the things you do. Like, again, with the acting example, if you need to play someone who is emotionally distraught and wailing, watch scenes of people crying. It's morbid, sure, but watch people truly sad and crying, and you will see how it works. You'll see how the emotions are expressed, and you can mimic it. And in mimicking it, you can internalize what you have seen and the emotions you saw them express. The actions become associated with it. But this goes much further than acting. Although, in a sense, I am using the acting example here for you with the videos. I, rather than simply come at this over and over and over until I just got better, I figured out why not simply be the assertive person that needs to be in front of the video, right? Just wear the mask. Fake it. I know how this works. I've seen it in operation. I've seen people give deliveries plenty of times. Just do as it seems done, naturally. And with that, I come to you with what I hope to be concise points and at least an effective delivery. But this can go for many other things, too. You want to forgive somebody, and you don't find it in you, but you really want to, and you're pretty sure you need to. But you just have an emotional hang-up? Fake it. It may not always be convincing. You may have to struggle. But by acting nice and giving yourself that chance to at least be in a positive interaction with them. Your fakery will be the bridge to a real relationship. And I'm not saying this is how you should start a relationship normally. This is a step of last resort where, if you're, especially if you're trying to deal with other people, you shouldn't start a relationship on fakery. But what you should do is if you are a shy person who feels like you need to be more confident when speaking to people, wear the confidence. You don't have to immediately become confident. You can wear it. Think of it like a suit. <laughs> You can put on the confidence. Try it out. It's not faking when you are trying out a new aspect. You could put it on permanently. You could actually become more confident. And in the end, that would be the goal. Is if you're faking something to make it and you find this to be a positive thing, you can stop eventually faking it because you've internalized it to the point that you're doing it. You're not faking it anymore. That has become a part of you. We are malleable beings with our personalities and our behaviors and our patterns. They can be changed, but not everyone can change them easily. This is an, a suggestion to those people who have difficulties with these sorts of things. A new approach you might have not considered. Something you could do to perhaps spark a positive change in your life. Use this wisely and you might find yourself becoming a better person slowly by simply wearing the mask of a better person until it feels so comfortable that it's actually your face. Just something to think about.